Brighten up those already bright mornings. Wheeler, Ollie, and Lecter. Mornings at the cabin. It's a little crisp out there. Maybe put on a jacket. The leaves are turning yellow, and they will fight you. Wheeler, Ollie, Lecter with you on your Monday morning. Mornings at the cabin. It has been a full, full weekend for the cabin crew. Uh, let's see. Mud run yesterday. We got muddy. Um, my clothes still need to go into the wash again after that muddiness. And also, we did a little family feud audition on Saturday. It was... I hope we don't get picked. We I, got I, beauty. <laughs> we got beauty. And we came up with a new show called Family Feudalism about farming. Um, <laughs> can, uh, I, yeah. can I just intervene to I give suppose. people an optimistic outlook for their week? Yes. It hasn't snowed yet. yet. I wasn't giving people a pessimistic outlook for their week. September the 5th last year. It snowed. The first snow. Yeah. So we're oh. doing well. Yeah. We're ahead of 2018 we're, on the no snow. That's right. That's right. I predict snow. In October. Call me crazy. Crazy. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Unrelated, but crazy. Yeah, I didn't say first snow. I just said snow in October. No, I know. So. But you're still crazy. Ah, uh, thank you. That's it's a little insensitive. After I think all we're going to get shut out this year. You think we're gonna no yeah. snow? Straight through to November. You know what? It's going to be one of it's it's going to be one of those things. It's going to be something crazy that happens like that 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 that'll that'll get some of those on the fencers about climate change to go. Ah, maybe there's something to this, yeah. and it'll be like. Yellowknife not getting snow until Christmas. Mornings at the Cabin, the podcast. Mornings at the Cabin, Wheeler, Lecter, and Ollie with you on your Monday morning. As I said, we had a very, very busy weekend yesterday. I'm sore today because yesterday, again, Ollie and I participated in what is known as the mud run. It was super muddy this year. It was way warmer, which was nice, but they went out there and they dumped a buttload of water in every And it was a buttload in every set. It was. <laughs> I was scooping mud out of my butt <laughs> all evening. It was ah, it was so much fun though. Once again, so thank but you. But back to, to the mud run. All the organizers. <laughs> and back to the mud run. I was having uh, fun. Sorry, digging mud out of my butt. Sorry. Uh, no, it's fine. <laughs> okay. It's fine. Uh, Lecter once again with us, uh, doing all the camera work. So uh, big ups to him for basically running the course. Yeah. he does everything. With a camera we do. in his hand. Exactly. He does everything. We do. That's right. Oh. You are you are the I don't know their names, but whoever does that bear grill stuff to our bear grills, <laughs> we, because we kind of we run parts of it that are on film and then walk the rest of it, <laughs> and then relax. Yeah, that's right. Take Go a to a hotel, have a five star meal, <laughs> and you can guarantee that is a source of rancor on the bear grills production <laughs> set. Of that the camera is. operator is known to the rest of us as whoever does that on bear grills. That's, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. right. Yeah. Well, we're not, we're not going to trap and slaughter a caribou and and leave most of it to rot, though. So <laughs> no, no, we're, you know what? We we're not going to do, do any of that. No, we're not. We're no. certainly not going to be clever enough to trap and slaughter the caribou. And that's even right. Even if we could, that's right. We wouldn't do that. Although I, if could, you'd been, I could trap a caribou if he had been stuck out there any later. That's right. To, <laughs> you're right. I mean, trap I mean, something. I, I okay, barely but, slept last night, and again, like Bear Grylls, we're not going to drink our own urine. <laughs> though we were out there all the time last night. If it comes to it, was warm. What? You were going to say something. I just like when you said you could trap a caribou, like backing it into a corner while in an F-150 <laughs> does not count as trapping it. <laughs> hey, trapping it. It doesn't say how. You got to do what you got to do. That's right. Yeah. Um, beautiful day yesterday and uh, a ton of fun. We won. Uh, we actually came in first place. Uh, we did. Uh, there was a three cor- three K course and a five K course. We did the one point five K course um, and we just crushed it. <laughs> We crushed it. <laughs> AJ with a very disappointing showing. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, like, we tried. He's he's in he's in decent shape. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. He could do the obstacles. Can't do any of the running. Mild ankle sprain this morning. I might tweak my knee. My knee swole up yesterday. Yeah. And I'm I'm limpy today. Let's, let's Me tally too. up the injuries. There we yeah. go. Is that all we got? That's no, all I got. I got my, but can't I, walk properly. Yeah, the rest of it feels actually okay because I like, you know, f- feel like I worked out. My arms are my arms are a little sore, my core a little sore, my butt right. a little sore. Yeah. Um, so that was nice. Yeah. That was nice. I feel there, like I got something done yesterday. There was a couple obstacles at the end where I, you guys just kind of looked at them and then like, well, well let's, let's get serious. Well, Ollie went mm-hmm. up the wall and he fell down like pretty hard. <laughs> and I was just like, you know what? I don't, I don't need think that. we need to do that. <laughs> I don't think we need to do that. And I'm, and honestly, like my shoe, the, the shoes I wore were not the right ones. When we were tr- crossing the pallets across the water. I was like, mm. I could not get grip. That was fun. And that's why I fell in the water. <laughs> but good for you for making sure that that fall was, you know, 
dialed up a little bit. A little bit. It's pretty all spectacular. Right. Well, I mean, like, I just kind of gave up. I started falling over. I was like, all right. And then sploosh. I was fully expecting while I was at the end and, and, and shooting, and y- you had fallen off, and you were just like, all right, I'm just going to watch from the sidelines in yep. the water. And Ollie was coming by. I thought for sure you were going to shove him into the I water. Also I thought, thought about it. For sure. I thought about it. That but he was going to shove me in. I'd gone too far, and I was like, once I was amongst rocks, I was like, probably not a good idea. Yeah. To shove him into the water. Good restraint. Well. Wow. Every once in a while, I can control myself. <laughs> that would have been quite the battle. That <laughs> uh, oh, I was so ready. I was I like, think, oh, here it comes. I here think next comes. year. I think next year we do that. We, you take a pallet, I take a pallet, and we'll try to balance on them, and then we'll shove each other. Oh yeah, off. yeah. Bring those batons. Have That's a little right. uh, joust on the. On the pallets? I think I think that sounds great. You sign the liability waiver, it's fine. <laughs> That's right. yeah, you can do whatever I, you want at that point. I got to about the second or third obstacle. I thought, I've signed that waiver with absolutely no knowledge of what the obstacles <laughs> were in this course. Yeah. There could be like a fire pit, for all I know. You have to leap across and swing up with a rope, otherwise you burn to death. Yeah. And I've signed a waiver that says, yep, <laughs> on me. Well, yeah. I mean, we There's did go- crocodiles this year. That's right. We it's went fun. through the dog poo pit three, four times. <laughs> uh, every time we went to the belly crawl... Like, you got your face right up to it, and oh. you're like, this is, there's poop in here. I don't remember it smelling that bad no, last it was, year. Well, because it was warmer, right? It was colder last yeah. year, so it was warmer this year. Right. It allows all that uh, all that muck to kind of bubble Coagulation. up. Coagulation. <laughs> oh, my God. I got some in my eye. Like, my eye felt weird yesterday. And it still feels weird. Didn't the flies enjoy it? Oh, they loved it. They mm-hmm. loved it. It's like, I couldn't understand why they were so attracted. It's like, oh, the poop. That's right. It was the poop. Ooh, right, the poop. <laughs> Don't throw your match on me. Um, <clears throat> thank you to everybody who, uh, obviously, the organizers um, and, and everybody and everybody who raised money. Uh, it was a, a wonderful, wonderful time. Again, the, the course was absolutely fantastic. Well, it was to the end yeah. where the course designer yeah. came and sat next to one of the like army crawl things under the cargo net. Yeah. Just to see us yeah, suffer. And right. then walked away saying, like, no, oh, I never get to see anyone actually do this. And then just skipped off again into the trees. That's right. Just disappeared. Never to be seen didn't again. Didn't even run the track. Just, like, went up in the bush and was like, did she just, did she, did she just field of dreams us? She did. <laughs> I built it. You came. You're covered in mud. <laughs> if you build it, they will crawl. They will crawl. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, she just sat there in her camping chair. It's like, this is great. Why don't you go do it? <laughs> nah. Nah. Fair enough. If you build it, they will hum. Mm. <laughs> yes, very good. Still think mine was the best. The Mornings at the Cabin podcast was recorded before a sort of live, thankfully not in the studio, audience. Just a bit of tidbit news from the 80s. Uh, on this day, Kickboxer, starring Jean-Claude Van Damme, was released wow. in 1989. Jean-Claude Van Damme, another movie where he inexplicably plays an American like the most American person ever, and they never try to explain why he has a very French accent. Nor should they. Nor should they. Another busy part of our weekend this weekend was the Cabin Radio crew doing a little family feuding. That's mm-hmm. right. We put out a little video on Thursday night, and hopefully it you didn't watch. Was it. stupid. <laughs> it was so ridiculously stupid. And we we were like, wow, well, this is this is fun. Yeah. We we were there. We were together for an hour. We spent forty five minutes trying to figure out how to just film it, and then we did it. We did it in one take, and it wasn't what we had planned at all. Um, <laughs> few renegades, few running renegades. Off yeah, script. That's right. Yeah, I'm just gonna say, Charlotte Moore Jacobs goes off script. That's what she does. She's a wild card. She is a wild card. But it there worked. It, is. it worked. Apparently, we showed up on. So we got the we got the the buzz on on what on Friday Friday afternoon. Yeah. So we put the video up. I I, I hesitated to even upload it. <laughs> it was feud. so so stupid. Yeah. I mean, like I'm gonna put it up on our Facebook because yeah. it was more of a joke than anything. We'd been talking about making a video and you know entering to uh, to get get onto Family Feud, and so we we're like, all right, let's do it. We finally did it. Like, of course, we're going to put it up on the Facebook. And I had a moment where I was like, should I even upload it? Like, the, they're here tomorrow. <laughs> the live auditions are tomorrow. Is there really even a point? I was like, you know what? It'll take two minutes. Just do it. So yeah. I just uploaded it. Last thing I did before I left Friday, I get home, I'm talking to Nicole. Um, she's telling me how much she dislikes the video that we did. <laughs> <laughs> and ne- then, never want to shy away from an honest opinion. Oh, she's like, there's no way you're getting on the show. This is so stupid. That's dumb. You should be ashamed. It doesn't make sense. My partner Phoenix was like, that was funny. Totally random. I, had, I didn't get it, but it was funny. 
Uh, Nicole said, we looked like idiots. And then not five minutes later, <laughs> I get a call on my phone <laughs> from a 416 number. That's right. And I'm like, well, this is obviously them. Answer the phone. Hey, it's Family Feud Canada. <laughs> we really liked your audition video. <laughs> They did. They thought it was funny. <laughs> Speak a phone to Nicole. By oh, yeah. Right. He's just like, uh, uh, listen uh, to that. Uh, Have a listen. And then she and then she was like, my opinion of Family Feud has gone down the tubes. <laughs> She's a big fan. Big fan. She's like, I told you it was a great video. I knew they would I call you. I knew they would take you. <laughs> just remember that when you win the $10,000. Yeah, so uh, so yeah, chatted with one of the producers in Toronto. Molly? Uh, oh, in no, Toronto. Molly was the senior producer. Right. Uh, this was her, I guess, her assistant or something. Okay. So she was calling out of Toronto and yeah, basically told us like asked, can you can you make an audition tomorrow? Yes. Um yeah, we thought your video was really funny. Thought it was really funny how you leaned into the whole Henderson and the cat running over joke. <laughs> <laughs> now, like, it was funny because she specified, she's like, That's not that's not really funny, obviously, but making a joke, it, it was it was kind of funny. Oh, like, well, imagine I'm having to analyze it. that video First, in order to justify <laughs> selecting you guys. First secret to constructive constructive criticism, when you don't have really anything like like totally positive to say, you're just like, I liked when you did that specific thing from your video. Yeah. You just pick a couple of things. You're like, I like when you did this and when you did this. You're like, oh, okay. They must have really watched it. They must have loved it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so she, so she got contacted Molly, who was her senior producer and yes. one of the people who was here doing the live auditions mm-hmm. in Yellowknife. And uh, and so I got an email shortly thereafter Boom. telling me when and when and where. It was funny because the girl on the phone, she's like, "So the audition is. Uh, it'll be at noon." Uh, tomorrow at the the Chateau Nova, which is at blah 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 Forty Eighth Street. Like, oh, oh, and, on the Forty Eighth Street one. Yeah, and yeah. so I kind of started laughing to myself, and she's like, "I know it's funny, you know, like here in Toronto, we just don't have streets that are just numbers; they're just all names." <laughs> Isn't it so weird? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, that's not what I was laughing at. I was laughing that you actually thought you had to tell me the address of the Chateau Nova here in Yellowknife. Everything's within 10 minutes. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we, we came in. We You you messaged the group, and we were like, are you kidding me? We actually yeah. got that. And then that became it became clear as to why when we showed up at the auditions. So we showed up at the auditions at Chateau Nova. We were one of three groups yeah. that were there, two families and us. And Molly, senior producer, even admitted as we walked in, <laughs> I was about to start pulling people off the street. <laughs> <laughs> it so, almost became like jury duty. That's right. <laughs> so it's just like, come on in. So like, I mean, they liked our video. And also, we put in a video. <laughs> so There were two major factors two that major got factors. us in here. Well, and we're not going to rank them. But we <laughs> liked your video and you put one in. Yeah. So, um, I mean, and... What they usually have in these things is like 30 to 35 families, they yeah. said. So the chances of playing are, are pretty slim or like you only get a chance, one, one chance to play. Because there were three families and we were there for three hours, um, we got a chance to play a lot of Family Feud. And it was hilarious. I think we should get into it again in a bit. So we'll Because we'll, Scott... Lecter had the best answers <laughs> for everything. But I wanted to get into the other two families too because, I mean... I, I I feel like all three families could be picked. Yeah. There there are those two families are way better than us. Don't <laughs> they tell should them be that. <laughs> okay. Shh. Molly, we're the best. And we did put in a video. Yeah. So don't forget that. You draw far too much attention to yourself, Mr. Underhill. What do you want? A little more caution from you. That is no trinket you carry. I carry nothing. Indeed. I can usually avoid being seen if I wish, but to disappear entirely? That is a rare gift. Who are you? Are you frightened? Yes. Not nearly frightened enough. I know what hunts you. Let go, or I'll have you, Longshanks. You have a stout heart, little one, but that alone won't save you. You can no longer wait for the wizard. They're coming. Scenes from the cabin. Know the movie? Submit your guest to mailbox at cabinradio.ca or send us a message on Facebook for your chance to win gift certificates to some awesome Yellowknife restaurants, including Zehabesha, the Monkey Tree Pub, the Woodyard Eatery, Copper House Restaurant, and Javaroma. Listen to Cabin Radio every weekday to win or download the Mornings at the Cabin podcast. 
Wheeler, Ollie, and Lecture with you on your Monday morning, continuing our story of our Family Feud audition and uh, subsequent acceptance onto the show, which will... Whoa, 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 whoa. We're, we're going to announce that in a few weeks. Oh. When they let us know. Because obviously we're getting on. Right? I think we have a good shot. I don't. Um, you, really? <laughs> I don't. Not compared I, to the two families that were there. But that's the thing. I think all three families have a good shot. I I think there's one family that is head and shoulders above everybody else. Really? That, that's well, the, they never got a fit in shot then. Oh, right. um, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> and they were just they just crushed it. They won every game. The the only reason they they stopped playing. So okay, so we have there was two. If if you know how Family Feud works, there's two families. They do top top uh, five answers on the board. We asked 100 people, what do you think of this? Blah blah blah. And so we were playing like a king's court. They had two yeah. two families up. Whoever won got to stay up, and then yeah. the other family came up. So this one family, um, the happy family. Yeah. Yeah. The happy family, they were up <laughs> the entire time. The Hernandez family, not so much. They couldn't get into the game. They couldn't. <laughs> but, like, the happy family had answers for everything. They swept the board clean a few times, and to the point where the the producers and the hosts were just like, you know what? We're just gonna let you guys. You guys yeah, go sit. You down. guys just sit. This and then we'll bring right. in, we'll bring in the Hernandez family. Um, we won a couple of games, uh, but it was it was really funny because they were just they were crushing it. Mm-hmm. They had a great cheer. They had great personalities. A lot of like really good banter between them. They were awesome, and Hernandez yeah. family as well. They had a rap, obviously, from yep. the video. They had a cheer, and they were great together. Very close, tight knit family. Little dance off, and then there was us, who the Lecter. So. <laughs> give me an example of give me an example of one of the questions. Okay, and what you answered. With okay, it. okay. So so let's did... just do the first one. The first. Okay. One. So we were one of the first families. Yeah, up, uh, and we were playing. I think against the Happy Family. That's right. And so uh, Jesse was our was our team captain, of course. Yeah. So he was up at the buzzer, and uh, the first question was: uh, Name some things that are hard to get off of your hands, yes. or are hard to clean off of your That's hands. Right. Oh. So Jesse oh. buzzed first. And I think you answered paint. I said uh, I said ink. Ink. Pen ink. Yes. yes. And, and it was like was, number two. Yeah. Yeah. So it was a great answer. So we got to play uh, first. So I was first up, and I was just excited for Jesse. I was like, ink, <laughs> that's a great answer. And didn't even take a second to like think of what I was going to say after that. <sighs> so they come to me. And I mean, you have to answer instantaneously, yeah, right? Yeah, or yeah. they would just move on. Oh, They'd God. Just say, you got it wrong. So it's like, Scott. <laughs> what are some things that are hard to clean off of your hands? Oh, no. And my mind immediately went blank. And I sputtered out wet flour. <laughs> wet flour. That was it. Which was not is on the board. really hard to get <laughs> off of your hands. It really is. It is. But it's not on it the board. Is. Neither was board. dough for that matter. It was dough. <laughs> uh, it uh, was paint. Paint. Uh, grease, grease, oil, oil yeah, glue. Grease. I feel like grease and oil should have been in the same thing. I, yeah, they could. There were a couple answers the there thing. that were a little I, whatever. I all... think you've kind of forfeited the right to criticize <laughs> the list of answers, don't you? <laughs> well, again, it is uh, the most popular answers. That's it's right. It's not necessarily the best answers. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, I've cleaned oil, grease, that's paint, right. and glue off my hands just fine. Yep. You need a, you need help to clean wet flour <laughs> off your hands. Can I, I could defend that one. Here's what I can't defend. <laughs> okay. A couple rounds later, we played through a couple rounds. And uh, again, Jesse is up at the buzzer. And uh, the question was, name some things, other than eating, name some things that you do with your mouth. Oh, yes. Gosh. Jesse buzzed in first successfully again. And what did you answer? I, no, she, no, that was... Uh, oh, you lost that one. I did lose that one. Oh. Uh, but we, we got the steal... Oh, on that one, because steal? the Hernandez family went first, and they answered number five. Oh, right. Right? So Lil J, from yes. Hernandez family, said, <laughs> Lil J. Family show. Uh, you know, we stop. can't, we can't stop. Stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't per- say that perform, already. Performing something with your mouth. Yeah. Um, and uh, so they got the answer number five, and when they, when the person that buzzes in gets a lower answer, you get the chance to get a higher answer, unless yes. they get the number one answer. So we, and we said kissing or something like that. I think we said kissing. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, you got like the number, number one or the number, number two, two answer. Yeah. So we stole and we got to play. So yeah. once again, <laughs> I was up next. And he said, Scott, aside from eating, what are some things you do with your mouth? And I was like, oh, I got this one. Eating. <laughs> 
Oh, oh, I was so Scotty focused <laughs> on my answer, so focused that I, mean, I negated oh, to listen oh. to the you, question. What do you do? What do you do with your mouth? Who needs to listen to the question when you have the perfect answer? You eat right? with your mouth. You eat with your mouth. That's it's the number one thing. The number one thing you do with your mouth is eat. <laughs> Aside from eating, <laughs> I think at this point I had uh, Molly, the senior producer. Uh, doubled over with doubled laughter. Doubled over with laughter. Absolutely. Um, yeah. And then, uh, so yeah, we played a couple more rounds, and and I was I was uh, up to the buzzer. I think did there anyone was one else of the... answer questions? Oh, we did. Oh no, no they, they, this is just the, the best ones. They all had very unremarkable, very logical answers. <laughs> okay. What well, the the, the, the which scarecrow which makes them it. remarkable because they're on the <laughs> list of questions not that allow us not to not win not. the game. That's. That's not what they wanted to hear, Jesse. They, to hear. they explicitly told us when we walked through those doors. <laughs> be entertaining. Be entertaining. Oh. It doesn't matter if you actually win a game. And I took that to heart. That's absolutely right. You know? Although the play Happy it up Family for the camera won like wasn't there. 90% of the games and looked good doing it. So <laughs> that probably will have something to do. But I think that worked against them. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. So you had one more. Come on. <sighs> no, I, I had two more. Oh, two more. <laughs> <laughs> one more stupid answer. And one great one. And one great answer. Yeah, that's right. So we'll do the stupid answer. Oh, <laughs> Which I actually thought was pretty Eating! Good. <laughs> it didn't top that one. I'll just let you know. Uh, <laughs> Not to get your hopes up. Uh, so uh, the question, I was at the buzzer, and the question was, uh, I can't remember exactly how it was worded, but it was something to the effect of name some things that you would be shy to do in front of someone that you don't <laughs> yeah, know well. Like, yeah. Something that you wouldn't before, want to do on a first date. Before you get like serious, yeah. name something you wouldn't want to show your partner. I buzzed in before my competitor... And I said, blowing your nose. <laughs> Cause Which I, I feel like is actually not a bad answer. <laughs> it's just not the obvious number one answer. Which, of course, was farting. <laughs> right. <laughs> blowing your nose, not in the top five. Not in the list. I bet it was number six. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> no. 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 It's a very natural thing to do. Uh, yeah, but no one nose. wants to do it. So it's right. farting. No, it wasn't blowing your nose. It was sneezing. Farting is a very natural thing to do as you well. You said sneezing. It wasn't blowing your nose. No, because... I said blowing your nose. No, you said sneezing. No, I said blowing your nose. Because so we were making fun of your Okay, this is a family feud. <laughs> <laughs> Let the feud begin. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, sneezing was on the list. I said uh, blowing your nose, which was not on the list. I know what I said, Jesse. I don't think you did. Because <laughs> I was like, how do you sneeze that it's so bad? No, 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 no. I said you blowing your scream. nose. You're like, ah, yeah! See, I should have said that. Okay, fair enough. I should have predicted that this would descend into this. Why did I not? <laughs> okay, okay. So m- moving on. All he right. had a great one, though. So then. In the last game. Last game, I think it was. Like, what do you do with your eyes closed? Second last answer. Yeah, name some things that you do with your eyes closed. Sleeping was already picked. Uh, a couple other, like, really obvious ones were already picked. And, uh, and, I, and they came to me. Scott, what are a few things you do with your eyes closed? I said, this is going to be my best answer yet. Kind of nervously, because I felt like it was a great answer, but I also thought blowing your nose was a great answer. (laughs) And eating was the best answer. I mean, you (sighs) can't. So I said, meditating. Number four. And I was cautiously Mm. optimistic right next to him going, ah, yeah. Yeah. Good answer. Uh, You've got such a bad track record. I don't know. (laughs) You're over three. And it was (sighs) on there. It was yeah, number, it was on there. Number yeah. four or number three. I think we what, won that game. Yeah, we did. Was that the first time you got on the board? It was the first yes. time I contributed <laughs> yes. a correct answer. One for four. Very yes. good. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> what a great time. Yes. Um, no, we had so much so much fun. Uh, the other two families, Hernandez family, Happy family. Um, I've already taken the mother uh, from the Happy family. I already got her number. I was like, when you inevitably get picked for this show, yeah. we're going to have to have you on the show. And yeah. she's like, yeah, absolutely. And Winston needs to be Winston needs studio. to be a feature, a yeah. weekly feature on this show. Um, Winston was a character oh on my the God. Happy Family. And <laughs> so good. Everybody wanted to see more Winston. And he wore socks with Birkenstocks, so I, I, I dig it. <laughs> I'm, I, I will. I will hit. Yeah. This sounds like quite the Saturday afternoon. Oh, it, was oh, it, was, it was incredible. And and see, this is why I think the the producers like this is why I think all three families may actually have a legit chance of getting on the show. When at, when it was all said and done and it was over, they said, "quote This has been a thoroughly entertaining <laughs> afternoon," <laughs> which is something casting directors say to you. When you're not getting hired, um, <laughs> <laughs> this has been thoroughly. This has been thoroughly entertaining. It's been lovely. You to meet did you. a great job. We'll see you around. So to, to to wrap up the whole Nicole thing about the video and then <laughs> coming full circle. So I got home and she was like, "How was the audition?" 
And I said, I'm the dumb one on our family. <laughs> and she said, oh, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> but they loved him the most. They loved him because. I thoroughly charmed. They said this. Everybody. They said this. They've seen 1,500 families. 1,500 families. He gave them three answers they've never heard. <laughs> <laughs> never for those questions because they're using the same questions over and over again. You've never heard his questions, his, what can his I say? answers before. I'm Eating. an original. That's right. And I'm very bad at family feud. Sneezing. Got got back to the house. Finnegan the dog puts a little paw around you. <laughs> He's like, there, 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 there. patted me on the there, head. There. I know what it feels like to be the dumb one, says Finnegan. <laughs> uh, I've taken that torch from my dog. <laughs> oh, well done. We will find out if we get on family feud, hopefully within the next few weeks. I really hope one of the other families gets it. Like, I hope one of us gets it, but I hope the Happy Family gets it. Mm-hmm. I really do. Or the Hernandez family. They were fantastic. The Mornings at the Cabin podcast. I don't think it's toque weather just yet, but uh, I'm starting to, you know, I'm starting to look at my toque and and my toque is like, is it time? And I'm like, well, no, not yet. And I'm like, all right, I'll just let me know. I'm going to roll over and go back to bed. All right, toque. Um, what did you talk a little bit? all fired up. That's right. Well, you know. You gotta give it a little tease, you know. <laughs> Bring it out of its cave. Mm. Uh, speaking of teasing, the NWT territorial elections are less than a month away, and I have announced my candidacy for deputy MLA for the entire city. I'm not picking a district here, people. I want to represent. Well, I want a deputy represent all of you in this upcoming election. Just simply write my name at the bottom of your ballot. It won't spoil it. I think write-in votes count. Pretty sure they do. And I want to count for something. I wanted to talk to you all today. This is a sponsored message by Jesse Wheeler for Deputy MLA of Yellowknife. This message has been approved by Jesse Wheeler and Lecter, too. He likes this. Yeah. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about today just before you head into work and do your jobs and uh, think about all that money you're going to be making this year. Um, I want to talk a little bit about campaign slogans or slogans that end up on posters. Right. Um, there's some good ones out there. A clear choice. Absolutely. That mm-hmm. is clear, concise. Mm-hmm. They've made a choice. Uh, the compassionate voice in The Great Slave. Rhymes with a clear choice. Absolutely. The compa- What? The compassionate voice. Oh, rhymes that's right. With a clear choice. That's right. That's so right. I like it. That's very good. Very good. Um, there are some others. What were the other ones? It's time to work together. It's time to work together. Okay. So, absolutely. These are, these are wonderful slogans. I won't go into why I have a problem with campaign slogans as a whole. Actually, you know what? I mean, there will. Give me 30 seconds. Um, Take all the odd. time you They're need. very odd. It's very odd to have a, like a campaign slogan on the thing. I mean, I understand that, uh, that candidates are basically just commodities, that like we, we have to try to sell ourselves. That's what mm-hmm. they're trying to do, right? right? A clear choice, the compassionate voice. It's time to work together. Yes. These are all things that are just – and the, the, that's the thing. They, they, they're, they're that – innocuous that people can just be like well obviously yeah yeah obviously yeah. we need to work together that's right you know we need a clear choice we need a compassionate voice yeah. right I, I, uh, just, some people would take exception to that compassionate I, the voice compassionate thing. voice because mm-hmm. it's the compassionate voice some people just don't like compassion in that's general right. some people don't like voices um <laughs> so i'm against all of those <laughs> i'm against all of those my slogan uh would be kind of an amalgamation of all of those things mm. all right so Jesse Wheeler running for deputy MLA for the entire city of Yellowknife. It's time to pick a side. <laughs> that's right. That's Bold. Right. Bold. Yeah, that's right. No more no I like more it. Working together. Yeah. No no clear choices. Yeah. No compassion. It's time to pick a damn side. All right? Whether it's me or you're against me. That's basically what it is. <laughs> you're either you're with, with me with, or, or you're against you. You're either with with yellow knife or you're again it all right that's yeah. against it and if you're again it that's right then you can get out <laughs> i'm here to save your jobs i am here to give you pizza on fridays and i'm here to make sure that 14.5 percent of our gdp is made up by government work what it already is okay 15 percent if anything <laughs> we need more g and w t jobs there certainly isn't any inefficiencies there. All I'm saying is that this October 1st, pick a side. <laughs> you can flip-flop all you want. It's kind of what we do. It's just time. <laughs> yeah, Either way. Right. It's time. It's time to pick a side. <laughs> and once we pick a side, 
Maybe we can work together. It's clear. It's compassionate. It's a choice. Thanks for listening. Check out more from the show at cabinradio.ca and by following the Mornings at the Cabin Facebook page.